Hello everyone and welcome back to the Military and Monetary YouTube channel and the second episode of the Eastern Block Kitchen, the YouTube cooking show where we make dishes popular and forgotten from Eastern Europe. And last time we made the Tote Oma. Yes, the East German classic, the yeah. traffic accident. Mm -hmm. We got a lot of positive comments on that video. Really appreciated. Yes, thank you also, everyone. Yeah, thank you for the comments and for the pictures you have sent us making your own Tote Oma. Very fun to see. We also appreciate every one of you that subscribe to the channel, of course. Yes. And all the thumbs up. If you don't subscribe yet, you know what to do. Oh. This and it's time, for free, it's for free. Yes, as you stated in yeah. the last video. Yeah. This time we're going from East Germany to the Soviet Union or Ukraine to be specific. Actually it is Ukraine, but there's been several uh, varieties of this dish. But I think the, the, the origin is Ukraine. It's Ukraine, yeah. yes. Then to the Soviet Union and then back to East Germany actually. Mm -hmm. This is a dish immensely popular in East Germany as well. And I think perhaps the most skilled viewer can already see now what is going on. Because in front of you, Eric, we have all the ingredients for this dish. That can also, it is a soup or it can be like a casserole and yes. there's a lot of varieties of it. But uh, tonight we're going to make a soup, as you said. Yes. And what's the name of this? Solyanka. Of Solyanka. Course. My personal favorite. Yes. When it comes soups from Eastern Europe. Mm. And um, as we have said many times it comes in a lot of varieties but you can use almost anything to make this soup, isn't that right? Yes, yeah. basically. It is called the hangover soup, how come? I'm not really sure but it's called the soup that can cure everything. Yeah, I my guess is that it's because it's very salty which mm -hmm. is nice to have the day after Yes. Um, I mean, in, in uh, Western Europe, we used to eat pizza the day after yes. because it's fat and it's salty, and this soup Not is also very likely well. in the Soviet Union. Precisely. Yes. Let's present the ingredients. Yes. As we said, there are a thousand different ways to make solyanka, but you have a few basic ingredients that you find in every solyanka. You have meat, and you use leftover meat basically exactly. what you have at home so that can be like calf or uh, chicken or uh, fish or anything anything that, you have, that yeah. you have at home but most recipes have sausages mm -hmm. so we have some polish sausages we have some leftover pork smoked pork in smoked this case pork, yes and we have a carrot onion and lemon and lemon is also a very basic ingredient. Mm. We have some uh, pickled cucumbers and the juice that the cucumber came in. We have salt. We have tomato paste. Here we have capers, bay leaves and also a special kind of pepper that is called allspice or Jamaican pepper. That gives this dish uh, a nice uh, taste. Yes. And don't forget the broth. The meat broth. Uh, almost a liter we have in this yes. case. Yeah. So these are the basic ingredients. Of course you can make it in any way you like. Depending on where in Ukraine or Russia you are. Mm -hmm. They and make what, it different. And what you have in the, in, in the kitchen or in the fridge. I mean, it's exactly. Yeah. Mm. We've had Solyanka quite a few times during our trips in Eastern Europe. Uh, I remember eating it in Ukraine, mm, Moldo in Moldova, also in yeah, Chisinau. Chisinau. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And I also had it in Minsk, in Belarus. Yes. And what we can say about that is that you can never anticipate what you're going to have on your plate when you order this because it depends on basically what they have had in the restaurant. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And every single Solyanka I've had, even in the same city, have been completely different. Mm. 
well, depending on restaurant. But common so to all of them are that they are so damn good. They are delicious. It's the best and soup we ever. we are going to make a delicious soup here today. Yeah. I'm looking forward to eating it. Hopefully. And yeah. there might even be some left for the cameraman. Oh. By the way, have you gotten your vaccine? Yes. What brand did you get? Sputnik. Good. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's start preparing. Yes. So we have shredded the carrot, the pickles and the onion goes into small cubes and the same goes for the meat, small cubes. So everything has been chopped up into small cubes. Yes, yes. So and we have some good German beer in our glass. Yes, yeah. we do. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Well, what comes next? Let's start cooking. Exactly. So the first thing we're going to do is to what? The meat and the onion goes into the pan with some butter. And we're going to fry it until it gets some color. Let's start. Yes. The meat and onion goes into the pan together with the meat broth. And then we simply add everything else. Exactly. We have the Just pickle stir. juice. We have the, the capers, the bay leaves and the Jamaican pepper or allspice. That. Not the lemons right now, but the pickles and the carrots. And of course, the tomato paste. Just stir it around so it sort of blends. And this is going to simmer for between 20 30 minutes. Oh, we forgot something. <laughs> a pinch of salt. A pinch of salt. And of course, some. Maybe some pepper? I think so also. Some black pepper, yeah. And there you have it. Now all we have to do is wait. Where is the. This one? So. We'll be right back after a few minutes. And we're done. 
We have three fantastic bowls of Sulianka. It smells great, doesn't it? It sure does. We have added something though. Yes, we didn't talk about it. Nope. We've added sour cream and some parsley. And sour cream is, you need to have sour cream. It's a must. Yes, yeah. definitely. So, well, what else to do but try it? I think so. And I think also we should invite the cameraman. We have a third bowl exactly. for the cameraman. Exactly. So please come. Join us. And give us your review of this. It looks kind of like the soups we've had. Both in Belarus and in <clears throat> Ukraine. Mm. Mm. Fantastic. Mm. Actually tastes like the soups we have eaten in, in Kiev. Mm -hmm. Fantastic mm. taste. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. We did it. Well, that's it, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> Thanks a lot for watching. We really appreciate it. Of course, please subscribe <coughs> to the channel. Uh, leave a like. Leave a comment. What else do you want to see us cook in the next episode of the Eastern Block Kitchen? Until next time. Thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I had some Jamaican pepper in my... <laughs> oh, See you next time. Oh, this <laughs> Nej, det var... Ja, men det där ska vi ha med. <laughs>